We had a lot of cloud cover, but it was warm and a little breezy across Easter weekend. But we closed the weekend with both days in the upper 70s. The story is the weather alert issued for tomorrow. The first alert weather team put this out actually yesterday morning as we are looking at all the ingredients coming together for a possible severe weather event tomorrow afternoon and for the evening hours. Uh, these thunderstorms could produce some damaging wind and some large hail with the large hail probably the biggest threat from this ahead. Again, this is tomorrow afternoon and evening. Let me show you the three day forecast. First, a big contrast in temperatures. Tomorrow will be in the 80s for the first time in a couple of weeks, but on Tuesday will only be in the mid 60s and it will be windy as well. So don't quite put away those jackets yet. You're going to need them on Wednesday. We'll get up to 70, but the morning low should be down into the mid 40s. Uh, here is future cast. Our first alert weather team is watching the development for thunderstorms along the dry line tomorrow. We think it's going to happen sometime during the afternoon. And again, this is just one forecast model. This is uh, just the latest run of it, but it puts the dry line in our western counties at the close of day. And in front of it, it has triggered a line of thunderstorms, which will likely be severe. Would not be surprised if we're under thunderstorm watch during the end of the day and into the overnight hour or at least into the evening into the early overnight hours and this line of thunderstorms into the Metroplex somewhere between seven and nine o'clock. You need to stay very weather aware and be aware that if you are outside or on the highways during the close of day starting around seven o'clock, you need to start paying attention to what's going on out there coming in from the west because this line could produce some large hail and could do some damage like to cars and windshields. This front is going to help us out and then it's going to accelerate the movement. Sometimes these systems kind of stall over our eastern counties. This front should push it out of the way. So by the time we get into the early hours of the overnight, it should be over and we will just be seeing the last of the rain leaving. Here is the storm chances ramping up as we close the day. We get dark just a little after seven and that's when the thunderstorms will likely be rolling in from the west inside the metroplex. Like I said, of all the threats, I think hail is the biggest threat from these storms tomorrow. 15% chance that within 25 miles and anywhere in that shade of red, there could be hail one inch or larger. And in this hatched area, the hail could be two inches in size and diameter or larger. So the tornado threat is not zero. It's really mostly up to our north across Missouri and Oklahoma. But notice it does touch into Gainesville, uh, into the uh, Red River counties. Anyway, total eclipse of the heartland. Now only a 15% chance that we have nice skies for it. It is not looking good. We'll keep you posted. Let's just get past this weather alert for tomorrow afternoon and evening then the cooler weather for a day, then great weather on Wednesday and Thursday. We start warming up heading into next weekend.